So the new Mario movie has just came out and let's get real for a second. We all expected this movie to flop hard and by flop hard I mean this movie was literally walking on a tight rope above a steaming hot pile of angry reviews. First, there's the immediate backlash of the questionable casting choices. Second, the fact that illumination of all companies were making this movie and third, it's a video game movie adaptation, which obviously doesn't have the best rep going into it. Suffice to say that everyone had expectations going into this movie through the roof, me included. And now that I've finally watched it, over a month after its release, I can officially say that this movie was... Sorta of good. Okay, hear me out for just a minute. This movie is nowhere near a masterpiece, okay? Don't listen to what any critics over at Rotten Tomatoes are saying. If you go into this movie expecting to see a fun movie, then you're going to get a fun movie. Sure, the story might be kind of thin and predictable, but it's okay because this movie somehow never manages to stay boring. One thing that I've noticed from this movie is that there is so much happening in every minute, it seems as if Illumination took note that their fan base was a bunch of children with withering attention spans and just sort of apply the techniques necessary. This movie also has a lot of references. You've got Baby Mario and Luigi, the GameCube Jingo, the Tanuki suit, Rainbow Road, even the blue shell somehow manages to make an appearance, Wario and Waluigi were there. Okay, maybe not Wario and Waluigi, but it would have been cool. The references, although not really contributing much to the story, really made me appreciate the movie a whole lot more. I mean, seriously, this movie probably has enough fan service to feed the Nintendo community for the next decade. They even have Charles Martinet as a minor role. Mar Martinet? Martinet? They even have Charles Martinet as a minor role in this movie to voice Mario in the commercial. <laughs> Speaking of Mario's voice, I think it's time we talk about the voice acting. Chris Pratt. Well, he was in the movie. I mean, this guy loves Mario. You could really tell that he spent hours, hours of, of his life, life stomping. stomping. Koopas. Controversial topic, I know, but I feel like having Chris Pratt voice Mario was sort of the right call for this movie. Because 19 minutes of Charles Martinet's voice would have probably been exhausted to sit through. Thankfully, Chris Pratt's voice acting in this movie is, well, average. Charlie Day as Luigi, though, was actually pretty good, even though Luigi in this movie was just kind of treated as a punching bag. Anya Taylor Joyous Peach was also pretty good. Seth Rogen was okay. <laughs> Jack Black, though, caught me extremely off guard. Pretty much in the middle of the movie when it was revealed that Bowser's whole motive was to marry a Princess Peach, he sings a musical number, and my god, it goes hard. My man poured out his heart and soul in the recording booth. Peach in this movie is also an absolute menace. You'd expect her to be the one captured by Bowser, but no, it's Luigi for some reason reason and now Peach is just a super OP character which I think was okay but they should have definitely given Luigi some more time to shine in the movie. The animation in this movie is also really good. It has that same colorful vibey feel to the Minion movies with its for some reason overly realistic RTX shaders but hey the environments in this movie are wonderful. There are scenes in this movie where Mario and Princess Peach are traveling through the Mario universe and my god is it beautiful. The whole world building aspect was done so incredibly well. You know what else has cool world building aspects and cool graphics? RAID SHADOW LEMONS! Have you ever heard of RAID SHADOW LEGENDS? Of course you haven't. I am the only channel on YouTube who's ever been sponsored by them. But hold on a second. What are my top 3 reasons to play RAID SHADOW LEGENDS? Number 1. The gameplay is killer. Number 2. The enemies are bigger. Number 3. This guy is a Neanderthal. RAID has been a top game on the Apple and Google Play Store for a very long time. It also won't be long till I raid your house if you don't download RAID Shadow Legends. This MMORPG has several characters. It also has several campaigns, several plotlines, and an insane cast of talented voice actors, none of which being Chris Pratt. He's, He's so, so cool. cool. This month, RAID is offering new content such as new champions, new events, and a new artifact set. But don't take it from me. Take it from this Macedonian guy I found off the street. For those bastard mother bitches that kept raiding down my house, I hope you apologize for your behavior in passion. Because now I have Raid Shadow Legends! So what are you waiting for? Download Raid Shadow Legends by clicking the link in the description or by scanning this QR code on screen and get free stuff. And Drake. <laughs> Let's talk about the plot of the movie. I would show actual clips of the movie itself, however, the movie's not streaming yet, so best I can do is cam footage. Okay, never mind. So the movie starts literally exactly the same way as the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer to the movie yet, then let me fill you in. And we're back up to speed. So after Bowser annihilates Pablo from the backyard guns, he steals the star. And this is where we get introduced to Mario and Luigi, who start their very own plumbing business and launch the iconic Super Mario Bros. commercial. However, they botch their first job because of this dog who kind of looks like Doug from Up. Let's be real, guys. This dog is the real villain of the Mario movie, not Bowser. After this, Mario and Luigi head home and then proceed to get roasted by their entire family. They gave an Oscar for worst actors? I wouldn't quit your day job. Oops, he already did! <laughs> Mario then goes and... 
plays video games in his room. And then here's about a massive water leakage on the news. So then Mario and Luigi try to investigate and stop the water leakage, but then get sucked into a pipe. Mario ends up in the Mushroom Kingdom, while Luigi ends up in fucking Ohio. Can't even have dry bones in Ohio, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Luigi then gets captured by Bowser and pretty much stays captured for like 90% of the entire movie. <sighs> Rip to all the Luigi fans out there. So anyways, after Mario meets with Peach, they then have this training montage to holding out for a hero for some reason. Which I thought was a pretty creative way of introducing all these random Mario mechanics in the games and making them make sense within the world. Anyways, after this, Mario and Peach go on to recruit the Kongs to help them in defeating Bowser. But to recruit the help of the Kongs, Mario must fight Donkey Kong in a 1v1. Mario somehow still wins in a cat suit. Anyway, so now with Donkey Kong on their side, they drive back to the Mushroom Kingdom in carts, which I think is a reference to some Mario game? I don't really know though. However, they get ambushed by Bowser and his gang. Mario and Donkey Kong almost get away, but then get hit with a blue shell. Peach then warns everyone in the Mushroom Kingdom about Bowser. Bowser is coming. Eventually, Bowser does come and proposes to Peach at gunpoint, kidnapping Peach and forcing her to marry him. Gee, Bowser sure do loves his Stockholm Syndrome. Anyways, at the wedding, Peach smuggles an ice flower and freezes Bowser. Mario also arrives and frees everyone, but then Bowser launches a bullet bill that somehow ends up going through a pipe and sucking everyone in it. But then Mario and Luigi grab Bowser's star and pretty much become invincible. And after a solid beating to the death, Bowser is defeated and gets shrunk down and put in the jar. We don't talk about the jar in these parts. Overall, the Mario movie delivered. It was definitely a movie with Mario in it. It's not an amazing movie by any means. I mean, in fact, if you've never played a single Mario game or consumed any Mario-related content, then I don't recommend that you watch it. It feels like a really exclusive movie because of the fact that nothing is really explained in it. It just kind of relies on you, the viewer, to already know how the Mario universe works in a certain way. Like, none of the power-ups are really explained, nor the star, nor the giant bullet bill in the end. And I mean, for someone who's never played a Mario game before, this movie must absolutely make no sense to them. And Although I don't think this movie is that bad, I'm still not entirely satisfied with it. The music in this movie was also okay, at least for the soundtrack portion of it. My main complaint with the music is the random over-the-top 80s and 90s licensed music that just play out of nowhere. And I know that this is an Illumination movie, and Illumination has this habit of just cramming in licensed music in their movies, but really? This was just kind of unfitting and overkill. But despite the fact that this movie isn't the second coming of Christ in movie form, I still found it very enjoyable. The voice acting was passable. It's a me. A Mario. The animation was colorful and expressive, the story was a story, and the characters were more marketable than ever. I might not be the biggest Mario or Nintendo fan, but this movie is definitely enough for me to enjoy and probably forget once I leave the movie theater. If you want a movie to simply take your mind off of life for a good 1 hour and 30 minutes, then go watch this. I know that this movie has pretty much the entire fanbase divided because half of the people who watched it thought it was an enjoyable and alright movie, while the other half completely disagreed. And by that, I'm looking at you, Rotten Tomatoes. Let's just all agree that this movie pales in comparison to the original Super Mario Bros. movie. Final verdict, it's pretty good. 6 out of 10. S tier for illumination. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Before I go, let me just plug my shit. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, and remember, Raid Shadow Lemons. And we're the Mario Brothers and Plummins again. We're not like the others who get all the fame. When you think he's in trouble, you could call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. <laughs>